Right, sorry about so like, I'm back. Sorry about that, Israel, bro. You know my time is short with you know saying my camera. So I gotta do it in uh in a short time. So I'm gonna have a, a, a lot of videos up on this same subject. All right, now we're back. Now everybody know this story of Jacob and Esau. I'm sure you know, but we're not going into that right now. The purpose of we bringing out Jacob and Esau right now is because they come from Isaac, right? Isaac and Rebecca, and uh, Isaac come from Abraham, and we showing that the Most High has been with Israel, you know. So, and kings has come from Israel, from Abraham, right? So, that's the purpose of Jacob and Esau right now. You know what I'm saying? And uh, Jacob, you know, Jacob had sons. He had 12 sons, right? The 12 tribes of Israel, right? The 12 sons. And, uh... He he had a uh, he he loved uh he loved Joseph more than any other son because he was uh the son of his old age you know because uh Rebecca was she was barren for a long time she was barren until he prayed. And to the most high your help. But right now we're going to go into Genesis 25, 23 through 26. All right, we're going to bring this out. All right. Genesis 25, 23 through 26. And he says, And the first came out ready all over. All right. So the first came out. Ruddy all over, like a hairy mantle, and they called his name Esau. And after that came forth his brother, and his hand had hold of Esau's heel, and his name was called Jacob. All right. Now check it out. We're going to go into the book of Jasher, and we're going to go to the, uh, chapter 26. And we're going to go to verse 9. We're going to read through 17. He tell you, Check this out, he say, and in about seven months after the child, the children struggled together within her, it pained her greatly that she was that she was weary on account of them. And she said to all the women who were within who were then in the land, did such a thing happen to you as it has to me? And they said unto her, No. Right? So, verse 10, and she said unto them, why am I alone in this amongst all the women that, that were upon the earth? And she went to the land of Moriah to seek Yahweh on account of this. And she went to, she, to Shem and Eber, his son, to make inquiries of them in this matter. And they, seek, and they should seek Yahweh in this thing respecting her. Verse 11. And she also asked Abraham to seek and inquire of Yahweh about all that befallen her. And all they inquired of Yahweh concerning this matter. And they brought her word from Yahweh and told her, Two children are in thy womb, and two nations shall rise from them. So two nations shall rise from these two children, right? And one nation shall be stronger than the other, and the greater shall serve the younger. So the ready one, right? The, the Torah said, uh, One second. The Torah says 
and the first came out, and the first came forth ruddy all over like a hairy mantle, and they came, and they called his name Esau. And after that, the and after that came forth his brother, and his hand took hold of Esau's heel, and they called his name Jacob. So first, Esau came out first, right? So, since Esau came out, Esau shall serve Jacob. He said the greater shall serve the young. Right? These are the words of the Most High Yahweh. You know, it's not my word. All right? It's, it's Yahweh's word. So, the, the, the greater shall serve, serve the young. But with that, we're going to keep going. You know, because it's not about Jacob and Esau. All right. So we're going to go to, uh, actually, we're going to go to the book of Genesis. We're going to stay in the book of Genesis. And we're going to show you uh, Jacob's daughter was defiled by the king Shekin, the king Shekin, right, in the land of Shechem. You know what I'm saying? So, uh we're going to go to that, and we're going to bring that out real quick. All right? We're going to go to uh, Genesis 34. All right, we're going to get going. I know we don't got much time left on this video, but we had Genesis 34, and he said, And Dinah, the daughter of Leah, whom she had born unto Jacob, went out to see the daughters of the land. And Shechem, the son of Hamar, the Hevite, the prince of the land, saw her. And he took her and lay with her and humbled her. See that? So pause right there. 